Okay, um, and I think we are gonna, gonna learn a, a lot of uh, different things in this session. So we learned about car sharing, we learned about uh, right uh, over the clouds, and uh, now we're gonna learn something about uh, Yota and um, at least me gonna learn what's gonna be, what is an, um, uh, Yota advocate or developer advocate is your, is your title as I, yeah. I read well, is doing because I have no clue. So um, yeah, we, we're gonna hear from Philip about Yota and um, uh, how to integrate Riot in this and, and sell sensor data on the IoT tangle. Stage is yours. <laughs> Hello? Ah, okay. Hello. Perfect. So, I got also the short uh, demonstration, but I think I'm actually probably not the most creative uh, part of this day. I missed that. Um, yeah, developer advocate. As you uh, ask, it's basically, I'm here for helping you to support, bring new people into the community, writing documentation and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, like a lawyer supporting the developer. Um, yeah, well, what is IOTA? Uh, probably some of you might research it, hopefully. Um, but I uh, will go also into uh, the the sum summary of uh, how IOTA works. Um, so first thing we have to say, IOTA is not a blockchain. It's a distributed ledger. So forget uh, talking about blockchain. We're now talking about a distributed ledger in general because there are now different kind of technologies and blockchain is just one of them. Um, yeah. And so IOTA, is uh, similar to, to the blockchain, but without the blocks and the chain. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a graph, as you see. Um, and instead of uh, having this uh, yeah, pointless, uh, I mean, the blockchain, some of you might have uh, heard that you have all these huge cluster of uh, graphic cards and calculating useless stuff, pointless stuff the whole time, and who's, who calculated this pointless stuff first, wins the block and can say, hey, here I attach this to, to, the, to the chain. So IOTA is different. Uh, in IOTA, you have this graph and you have the, the gray area is uh, the tips, the new transactions which come in. So when you're starting to create a transaction, you're picking two other transactions which are not verified yet and you verify them. So you're attaching, you're referring to them. So, and then you uh, tip your transaction, it's called tip when it's not, gets, uh, when it's not valid yet, not confirmed yet, um, get then attached to the tangle. We call this whole graph tangle. And yeah, and uh, new transactions get also uh, attached to your transaction. So every transaction is uh, validating two other transactions. So that means in contrast to the blockchain where new transactions, uh, more transactions makes the blockchain slo slower because the block has just the size of some megabyte and just this amount of uh, transaction can go into this block and the block is uh, only mined every x minutes. Uh, in IOTA in contrast, your transaction gets faster confirmed as more transactions going through. Okay, theoretical, of course, there are some uh, um, hardware restrictions. So, of course, not, we don't have an infinite computer, but from a concept uh, perspective. Um, yeah, um, consensus achievement. So, the longer the uh, graph grows, the more confirmed your transactions get. So, as you might see, if you're, if you're in an in a often uh, subtangle and there are no other transactions get attached anymore and not uh, attached to the main tangle, your transaction is not confirmed. Um, yeah, and 
you have to attach it again, or there are several uh, tricks if you're in one of the conflicting uh, path of the graph. Um, yeah, but this is how consensus uh, gets achieved. The longer uh, the graph grows, the more confirmed your transactions get. Yeah, this is how it looks like uh, when, when the tangle grows and more and more transactions get confirmed. Uh, there are also some some uh, little uh, sub uh, sub tangles which got not confirmed, but this looks like when the uh, when the tangle is healthy and most of the transactions get confirmed, yeah, it's growing. Yeah, an uh, important factor of uh, IOTA in um, if you're using IOTA, I mean, uh, we have this is interesting. Uh, we have two kind of IOTA. We have one, the technology. You can also say, hey, I'm just interested in the technology, but I don't care about this whole cryptocurrency thing. It's not important for me. I just need this consensus uh, algorithm. So you can just use the technology, create your private tangle, and everything is fine. But if you want to work on, on the main tangle on this cryptocurrency, the monetary system, um, in contrast to, to Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, or whatever, um, IOTA does not have transaction costs because we don't have these blocks. You're validating other transactions, so that's the cost you're doing. And you have to do also a little proof of work. Um, this is used as prote uh, spam protection, but it's not that heavy as um, with, with a blockchain. It's just a little bit of uh, computation time and then validating other transactions and your transactions on the tangle. So no transactions cost. Yeah, the foundation. Um, we are a non-profit foundation in uh, Germany, Berlin. And I think we have now maybe 100 employees. I'm not sure. There are some new people coming in every time, every day. Um, yeah, we found it uh, through the IOTA tokens. So we have these cryptocurrencies, and people think this uh, our technology uh, might be the, yeah, driving monetary system in the future, so they're invested, and also believe in the technology, and giving some, some parts of the token to the nonprofit foundation. So that's how we are founded, to, to provide yeah, money to uh, further development. Um, yeah, this is what we do, research, technology, education. So my part is the education part. Um, for you guys, is also one interesting point. We have this uh, so-called uh, ecosystem f development fund. So there's currently four million US dollar in it. So if you're interested in any topic around IOTA and you think, hey, um, I'm, I'm interested in researching something with IoT devices embedded, with IOTA getting some, some security solved or something, you can apply for, for the development fund. We are looking into it and then, yeah, hopefully approving it. So just a side notice. Um, we have also this proof of concept of the data marketplace. It's just a proof of concept, but you can use it if you want to. Um, it's also uh, online. There's also an article about this, how, how you can connect uh, your sensor data with it. It's JavaScript. Um, yeah, I'm not showing this because it's for 20 minutes, it's just too much. <laughs> um, so the example application I uh, wrote, we have a, um, something called uh, MAM, Ma Mask Authentic uh, Authenticated Messaging. So if you put data on the Tangle, it's public, everybody can read it. But with MAM, you can make it private so that not everybody is able to access this data. And I wrote an example application uh, with, of course, on the sensor, um, oh, it's cut. on the sensor is a write. It sends some messages to a gateway. This gateway is writing the messages via mum uh, to the tangle. And then somebody can, with the data marketplace, uh, buy this data and get the data, basically. Yeah. And I can, so the application, oh, it failed.
So that's the right, I'm just reflashing it. it oh, I hate that. <coughs> so I have in here an NRF uh, 52 with a connected uh, BM uh, E. Ah, huh, interesting. Yeah, true. <laughs> I just I just tried it before a couple minutes ago, but so it flashed, and then yeah, interesting. Something with the zero. Ha, C works. So uh, there's a server on it, which I wrote. Um, the, the code is also uh, open source, and um, there will be also documentation uh, on, on the IOTA page about this. Uh, OK. Didn't tell about that one. No, I'm not sure. I think there is no. Hmm? No. Ah, zoom in. Yeah. Okay. Better? Okay. <laughs> Is it readable now? Okay. One more? Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I started just uh, I just started the terminal just need to connect the uh, the bluetooth, not important. Um server patches and null zero packages. So I start the application. It's not important to see that, but you can see there are some uh, incoming messages uh, debugging. And so, so basically it gets now uh, from the sensor the data, is attaching it to, to the tangle, and I get, uh, when it's done with that, then it gets some, some bundle address. So there we are. And the bundle is, uh, the bundle address is the it's the channel ID for, for mom, and we can take a look on the Tangle Live, and there should uh, probably, I need also need to zoom in there, right? Yeah. So it says pending, so, and we can take this channel ID in the subscriber, I change the channel ID here, and Probably I also need to make this thing bigger. So, and run the application and we can see, oh, it's 24 degrees in this room. So, yeah, I can also check this again should be the same when I read the sensor data oh, here. So I'll read nine, so 24 degrees. We subscribed successfully and got the data. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, the sensor, what, what's on the sensor, it's just uh, sending protobuf messages. Um, I started also pull requests, but uh, Caspar, uh, 
showed a better implementation of that, so you should take a look into this protobuf implementation. It's really good. Um, it's really helpful. Um, yeah, technical resources, if you want to um, look in more into IOTA, uh, just read our docs. Um, there is, as I said, as I mentioned, I'm currently working with my colleagues on bringing also the IoT stuff uh, into the, the documentation, yeah. Okay, um, okay, good. Uh, I think we have time for one short question. Uh, yeah, uh, Philip, thank you for the presentation. So uh, I have a quick question. So uh, basically I was just trying to intuitively visualize uh, like I was able to understand that uh, using a directed acyclic graph as a data structure will definitely help in, you know, so getting, uh, searching the value and arriving at the value EC because we will use minimum vertex cover to easily find out. Uh, but I was thinking about the footprint. So because uh, let's say Ethereum is using a data structure which is uh, similar to a singly linked list, right? So in a directed acyclic graph, right, we have number of, the vertices is high, so obviously it's almost like every vertices is connecting to n number of vertices. So uh, how, the, how, how the scalability aspect works? So when we try uh, getting sensor data on a more frequent basis, right, so the tangle is getting increased and it's keeping, I, I mean, so how far does the storage accommodate and is it, uh, uh, really, I mean, I, I just wanted to hear about the scalability aspect. So I can uh, visualize how it's faster, but I can't just get how how, how far it scales. Uh, did I get you right? The the uh, the structure is growing, and yeah. so it's getting more and more data, etc. Mm -hmm. And there is one uh, solution for that: is one snapshotting, which is also used in in the blockchain, putting throwing all the uh, and not essential data away and just keeping a snapshot of this. This is the first part. Um, and another part uh, is uh, our current uh, our research team currently uh, working on um, to, to have uh, shardings, so to split up uh, the graphs so that you have a cluster uh, mm -hmm. which represents the graph. So, but yeah, that's, these are topics uh, uh, okay. known and we are working on this. There are also several articles about this. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I can sh uh, share them uh, in the uh, right user uh, email mm -hmm. group. And yeah. yeah, perfect. So an, uh, another quick question. So uh, I, I saw that uh, your uh, consensus was pretty quick, so immediately it was adding. So I, I assume that it's a, a zero transaction cost, private sort of uh, I IOTA chain. So, so are you using a, a raft-based consensus protocol or something where a leader is directly selecting uh, what 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 should be the sensor value to take and update? So, uh, can you talk a little bit about the consensus algorithm? Because I found that it's very quick. So, literally, when you retrieve the sensor data, immediately the the tangle is getting boom. So, consensus? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really into the math uh, stuff of the consensus, okay, okay. but there are also articles, there are also discussions about uh, uh, changing the consensus because of there are some issues um, with, uh, uh, yeah, where we have problems uh, with the size and going through all transactions and finding uh, the right one. Okay, thanks for the. Maybe. <laughs>